Now look how wondrous God is, man. Look at this sight, man. Look at how this water and all this stuff going on, man. God is too good, man. This, this is just magnificent. Seeing views like this, man. We should be thankful, man. Because people... People are so more caught up with technology and other things and making other things that God's that we can't even step back and look at the, the small wonders that God has created for us to enjoy. We take it for granted, man. Now, uh, picture this, because they already painted that picture for you, so I'm going to use it. Now, what if the world was like the Matrix, where it's all dark and gloomy, where you didn't get to see waters and, and sights like this, and it was like or, for instance, it was like uh, something like the Book of Eli uh, or Resident Evil. To where you don't get to see these many wonders and just be able to enjoy yourself and sit back and relax, man. Because they say times like that are coming. So, man, just man, enjoy this, this the fruits of what God has bore for us, man. We should be thankful, man. We should be so much more thankful to God. Not glorifying the creation, but glorifying the creator. Man, it's amazing. And I know some of these um, books and things that I speak of, y'all don't understand because a lot of y'all haven't read anything like on King Solomon, his, um, his many different verses and songs. There was a lot of songs being sung and made to God, man. People don't even realize that. That's why I keep saying get the Apocryphal Bible because it, it breaks down a lot of this stuff. And it goes in depth on what Enoch was saying and w when he got took up to God in the heavenly realms and what he learned. It breaks down all this stuff. And these books were taken away by the Catholic churches and, and different, different organizations because they didn't want you to have this knowledge, man, to fulfill their agendas. Now, Enoch was the only man to go up with God and literally was basically the equivalent of a scribe for God to man. He depicted everything from the beginning to the end, and he gave it to us. He gave it to us, all the knowledge and all the wisdom, all the battles, all the stuff that went on in the heavenly realms, man. Enoch had all the information. And he tells you about everything. Everything. From the mythical creatures, from the amazing creatures that God created, and everything. Every beast. This stuff is not made up, man.